Hi, I'm Alex with Anderson and & Vreeland, and today I'm going to show you the AV Star System, an analog film replacement. The AV Star System was designed for the bag, corrugated, screen printing, and liquid plate making industries, but can be used for any low line screen or line work application to create digital disposable negatives ready for the plate room. As the cost of traditional film rises and image setters become harder to service and replace, an alternative to negative creation has emerged in the AV Star system. This product uses a top of the line printer and can achieve line screens from 20 to 115 LPI and print type as small as 6 points. This printer uses black ink to print the negatives but can be used as a color printer to print die lines, color keys, and posters. Today we're working with our 44 inch device and I'm going to show you how to change the media now. Start by releasing the media with the media release button. Once it's released, you can open up the hood, unlock your media, and slide. I can now lift my media out of my machine in order to change. The really nice thing about this device is that it utilizes spindleless end caps. So with just a flick of the switch, I've got my end cap to release and I can put this on my new media roll. This end cap can be used for both a two or a three inch core. Today we're using a three inch core, but by simply switching it to two inch, I now have a two inch core. To put my end cap back on my media, I place it on top, making sure it's flush, and then lock it into place. To put media into the machine, I start by putting my spindle and my media into this dip and lining it up with the bars here and here. From here, I can roll the media directly into the machine, making sure that it's over the top so that it can easily feed into the printer. Now I want to slide everything over to the right, making sure that I'm flush here and here, and then locking the device into place. Lastly, I'm going to feed my media down into the machine. A little farther, making sure that I can see it at the bottom. Now, I can hit my media release button again to engage my rollers and load the media. With the media loaded, we're now ready to make a plate-ready negative in three simple steps. Drag and drop, print, and verify. The AV Star system comes with a choice of rips to fit your needs. Today we'll be working with the Wasat rip. In this rip, it's easy to drag and drop files into the layout program. From here, I can add more files or rotate and crop as needed. If more pre-press options are required, the Zante rip is also available. Both rips are easily configured for multiple workflows so that consistently printing different line screens and resolutions is quick and simple. These workflows can also be linked to hot folders so that your operators never have to touch the rip and dragging and dropping is as simple as a click of the mouse. Once my file is loaded, I can send it to the printer. A 1440 resolution file at 44 by 60 inches will take about 20 minutes to print. So when you're ready, you can hit rip and print to send it to the print queue. And you can see your jobs come in and then to your rip and then send over to the printer. So we finished printing and now we can cut the negative using our scissors button. So we finished our printing and we have a successful negative. We're using our AV Star 2 matte film, which is great for liquid plate making as it helps to channel air creating a better vacuum, which eliminates hot spots and air bubbles. This film is available in both 5 and 8 mil. So now that we're done with our print, we're ready to verify. So before we verify, we want to make sure that we clean our negative. AV Star negatives can be cleaned with film clean and a lint-free cloth. Just place a little bit of cleaner onto your cloth and wipe gently. Do note that the negative will turn a milky white color as you clean it, but that this will disappear as the film clean evaporates. 
So now that we've got our negative clean, we can measure our density. Density can be measured with a transmission densitometer like this one from X-Rate. So let's start by setting it to measure density and zeroing it out on a clear area of our film by measuring a clear area and pressing our zero button. Now we move over to a solid area of our film and measure. While traditional film requires a density of 4.0 or above to make a good plate, AV Star Film can successfully make a plate with a density of 2.7 or above. Now that we've measured our density, we can measure our 50% patch. The AV Star system, just like a traditional image setter, requires a linearization curve. Measuring our 50 verifies that our curve is correct. To measure our 50% patch, we want to switch our densitometer to measure a negative. We set our baseline by measuring a 100% patch and pressing our zero button, and then measuring our 50%. A 50% patch should read within plus or minus 2% of 50. If not, recalibration may be needed. Today we've looked at the AV Star Print system and seen that in three easy steps, drag and drop, print, and verify, we can have plate-ready negatives.